Okay, morning everybody, hope you're all okay. Well, uh, this morning, I mean, the sun's right up. It's really bright, sunny day. And uh, yeah, I hope you've been able to get out and enjoy the sunshine. You know, like we've, you know, well, we've got a little bit of um, time where we can get outside. Anyways, um, this morning I came out originally to photograph some foxgloves. I was out running the other day somewhere I don't normally run. I came running past this wooded area and as I looked into the woods there was almost like a wood within a wood if you like. So there's all these foxgloves within the wood and it really nice. So I thought well, I'd come up here today, wait for the sun to come up a bit so it kind of got some light into the woods just to light up the foxgloves. But unfortunately as you've probably already seen I'm in my shorts and um, there's so many stinging nettles and stuff like that around to try and get to the fence line to, to photograph the foxgloves. I just wasn't going to risk it. So I'll have to come back another morning to do that. But anyways, what I've done, I've just, where I've parked the car, there's a footpath that, that leads across um, a field. And I've just come to this really lovely kind of wooded area. And some old oak trees there and it's forming this really nice sort of dappled shade and I've got a, an image just kind of looking down through the wood. The problem I've got is right in the middle where the, the sun's just coming through the trees there's a quite a bit of a highlight there so I might be able to try and lose that a bit in, um, in post I'm not sure but you know, I'm just going a little kind of little wander around this bit here and absolutely beautiful you know not been here before just kind of wandering around and um yeah stumbled across this so yeah we'll take a couple of shots here and then um and then i'll probably head back because let's say my original plan was to come photograph these fox gloves but but that's not going to happen so yeah so i'm going to get a couple more shots from here and um and then i'll probably come back in the morning tomorrow with my jeans on so anyways, I'll catch you in a bit. Okay guys, follow me, I'll just show you the latest composition. So what I've got, got this stump here, which obviously the, um, the tree behind me is snapped off in the, in the winds or whatever. Got some stinging nettles around it, and I've got some oak trees kind of leading into the distance, almost like a, an avenue. But what's interesting is that they're kind of, one's going that way, one's going that way, and that way, and that way. So it just adds a bit of interest to the shot anyhow. So um, yeah, I've gone into, into portrait orientation. That looks really nice. So um, yeah, pleased with that. Okay guys, you know how sometimes they say, you know, you should, when you've walked past it, to look back. 
because you might find another composition you might not previously have seen because you're obviously walking the other way. Well, I've done just that. I've just been walking through the trees here. I've come across another lovely composition here and got three trees. Two are going out that way and then one's right up the middle. And it looks really nice. And well, obviously the problem I've got today, hang on a sec. Right, back again guys, just going to clean my filter here because it's getting a little bit mucky. Give that a wipe as well. Right, where was I? Right, yeah, so I've got two trees going that way and one going that way. Of course, the problem I've got, because it's so bright, there's quite a few highlights bounce around off the trees. But it actually looks pretty nice. Now, settings-wise, I'm on... What have we got? 8th of a second, F11, ISO 100, normal stuff. And, yeah, so I've got two of the trees are in shade, and then one's quite bright. But, well, it still looks like quite a nice shot, actually. I mean, it is a shame that that sun's shining on that, that tree there, but... But it's midday, what can you expect? But I have to be honest, this spot here is absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love it. I mean, it's not a lot here. It's just like a row of trees. And you've got some hills of the field there going up. But I've just noticed there's another footpath over there to my right. So I'll definitely be coming back here, checking that out. Because you never know what you might find up there. But yeah, awesome. Awesome, awesome place. I had a great time this morning. Well, it's afternoon now. Right, so we'll just fire off a couple of shots here and then I'm going to head back for some lunch because it's feeding time for the bears. Yeah, looking nice. And one more there. Check that on the menu. Yeah, that's looking right. Okay, well, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going um, to head back, have some lunch now, because it's that time of day. And so, yeah, really, I just want to say. Um, yeah, I've had a really nice time. It's been really good. It's a lovely find. Started off wanting to photograph foxgloves, ended up photographing some oak trees down in the bottom of the hill here. And um, yeah, it's so all, all round. Been a good couple of hours out. So anyways, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. You know, thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And I'll speak to you soon. Cheers. Bye. Well guys, mission complete. I managed to come back the next day with my jeans on and get some photos of the fox gloves in the wood. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah, I've got a nice little bit of sunlight shine on them and um, yeah, hopefully they come out okay. So I'm really pleased about that.